What is it? Okay. No, it doesn't. Okay. It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it. Now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCRs. Okay. Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill them. Okay. All right. If you want, it's not really my thing. What do you want to know? Give me a rifle and a clear line of sight, and I'll start picking them off before they've even seen me. Didn't have much hand-to-hand -hand training, so our chances are better if you keep the enemy out of my face. I'm trained as a spotter, too. If you're looking through a scope, I could find your targets for you. Sure. No. Sure. Carla's dead. That's all you need to know. Yeah. restricted areas. Welcome to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Revcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched. Revcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Revcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. I can answer whatever question... As you may already know, Repcon is an industry leader in producing alternative fuels for military and scientific purposes. Repcon scientists were pioneers in fission-based propulsion systems and have recently had some very exciting breakthroughs with plasma systems. The recent partnership with Robco has freed our engineers from mundane business matters, allowing them to focus solely on future projects. I can answer whatever question... Robco Industries purchased Repcon in 2075 to assist with some of Robco's military projects, as well as developing unmanned space exploration. The relationship between Robco and Repcon is mutually beneficial, and we hope that both companies bolster each other well into the next century. Very well. Feel free to ask me... The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions, and the promise of many more. Excellent. Excellent. 
Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ready for the Repcon Tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? How may I serve you, Master? Look here! A row of multicolored plasma fuels. Careful, they may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left is an example of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels some legislators claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hats until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. And in front of me is a model not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets screaming into orbit. Now these colorful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Robco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome SentryBot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole line. This is the final stop on our tour. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Robco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? They are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. Yes? Did you have a question? Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas.
Welcome to the Grub and Go. Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Sure, fire away. I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. All right, then. You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. The NCR fixed up the pipe network pretty good, and water merchants like me are allowed to have some of it to sell. If we have a water license, of course. Still, it beats the inconvenience of having to trek all the way to the lake to resupply. There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. Shoot. They won't just let anybody into the Strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, um, keep a close eye on your caps. There are a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out, but I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. All right. Until next time. Lafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. I'll see you around. Damn Brahmin crap everywhere. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Maybe. What do you want to know? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Need anything else? Can do. NCR Rangers deserve all my praise. Keep an eye out for wildlife. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? The name's Hostetler, Don Hostetler. Can I help you with something? I already told you I'm Don Hostetler. You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. Like I said, talk to Alice McLafferty. She's in charge here.
Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Certainly. What would you like to know? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. I don't handle buying and selling for the gunrunners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. For around five years now, I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off-limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Later. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. I am ready to process our transaction. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Howdy. Name Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope, and I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. 
Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. Guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Yup. A lot of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Yeah. Try not to get killed. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your s service. Oh, yeah. F fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. D damn right. The LT. Gorobets gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades. But the LT says, sorry kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me Ten instead. It's okay though. I get a few more k k k kills under my belt, he'll move me up to Jack. Jack of spades. Sounds better, right? I keep at it, eventually I'll make it to Ace. Think I'll skip Queen, though. Shit. Long as I can remember, had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid, too. Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Kicking ass, M mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those f f fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. 
I'm Bitter Root, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? It's a con name. You know, the great cons? That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right if you ask me. You're sorry? Well, that makes one of us. Bitter Springs was the best thing that ever happened to me. Best thing that ever happened to my parents, too. They were as bad as the rest. Worse, maybe. Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR, and not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons at Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever want. Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Yeah, that's probably best. Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. Me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. While, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. Yeah, look, he's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story, and I'd get tired of talking before it was through. You a merc? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my uh, father. Major Daughtry. He's our CO. All right. Goodbye. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, first recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and Tennis Spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. 
We have the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye... If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Carry on. Wish I had a first recon guy. I looking after me. Hey. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Yes. Goodbye. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Thank you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. Look, McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what... I'm glad Ringo's back. Got a good story to tell, too. Need anything? Watch yourself around here. Freeside is the king's turf. Remember that. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. You want to travel through Freeside with ease? You hire a king. We're everywhere. And no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Freeside's a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. You go without a guard. You're rolling the dice, you know? You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me. Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So what do you say? Want some? I have my little helpers out and about, always looking for fresh things to add to the stew pot. You may have seen them around somewhere yourself, 
Now deny your hunger no longer. You won't regret it, at least until an hour or so from now. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. You want to get your hands on some... Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hey. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. You again. What do you want now? One of the families that runs the Strip. They're a pack of cheaters, but you still don't want to fuck with them. I wanted to be where the action is, so I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Everything was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is gonna hear about it from my dad, just you wait. Yeah, whatever. 